I just invited the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra to my dad's place. I'm Johnny. Happy New Year! Being a slave to fashion, I've decided to do a top ten. <sighs> you guys are worse than the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Get out of here! Any. So here's another top 10-ish list of media that you should consume. All the links, by the way, are down in the doobly-doo. Now that I've shooed those guys out and got my lab coat on, let's begin. First up, in no particular order, Among the Sleep. Now this is a particularly creepy game with a very cool mechanic. You play as a two-year-old who for a second birthday gets a magical teddy bear, later wakes up, and the house is all creepy and scary. Worth every penny. Binding of Isaac, Rebirth. This is actually an old game that's been given a bit of a refresh. If you think Among the Sleep is Dark, Binding of Isaac is somehow cuter and darker at the same time. While Among the Sleep aims for dream state realism, Binding of Isaac is more cutesy, pixely, and yet even darker and yuckier. Gasco. Picture an RPG that takes one to three hours to play a complete session, start to finish. The name of the game is a Coen's Brother movie, like The Big Lebowski. Everything goes horribly wrong. Even the character creation is different because you're not focusing on creating just one character, but a relationship between two characters. Thanks to Sharice for hooking us up with our copy of Fiasco, Takanoko. This game is a lot like Settlers of Catan, except it's inside of a Japanese garden and there's a cute panda. You grow bamboo and you make the panda eat it. You make the gardener grow it and it's great. Check it out. Jumping into more of the youtuber -y side of things, let's talk a little bit about Crash Course. This is an amazing series of videos by both Hank and John Green. This is a variety of topics expanded upon by two very amazing professors. Now, I don't think they're professors in the accredited sense, but let me tell you, they damn well should be. I suggest starting with Crash Course World History and branching off from there. They've got a million topics. Biology, psychology, chemistry, literature. Go check it out. In fact, go watch SciShow and Vlogbrothers and all their other works too. Amazing. The Serial Podcast. You heard me mention the last episode. If you haven't listened to it yet, just go listen. It opens up a lot of questions about guilt, innocence, the criminal justice system. I know it sounds really dull and dry, but it's truly fascinating. By episode two, I was completely hooked. Another great podcast is the Hello Internet podcast. It's basically two guys talking, but those two guys are CPG Gray, who's an amazing YouTuber, and Brady Haran, who's not just amazing, but wildly prolific. It can be pretty fascinating, especially if you like their videos. Music, there's too much to mention. There's the Summer Souls Twist mix, which has some of my favorites on there. Illusionist and Darm on bass drive, and LM1's latest guest mix. Finally, Shell, the love of my life turned me on to this one, I Believe by Kawehi. The original video is also linked, as well as my remix. Abstentially, because this is a music production vlog, I should mention at least one music-y production-y thingy, and that is Bazile. This is a modular soft synth, somewhat akin to, say, an old Moog or a Korg MS-20 or similar, and allows you to connect one section of a synthesizer to another. It is highly expandable. There are an amazing amount of sonic possibilities here, and it's really easy to get lost, which is actually quite a selling point. All right, welcome to 2015. Happy New Year, everybody. I'd like to know your favorite things to consume in the last year were, new or old. So leave a comment in the doobly-doo and tell me about all the things I missed. Until next Thursday, I'm Johnny.